Get excited, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. The Carlton County Memorial Library presents Storytime with Miss Sheila. Come on, everybody, friends one and all. Let's come together, let's break down those walls. We're going to listen and we're going to learn. Having fun all the way. Somebody said, let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen and learn together. Let's sing and learn forever. Let's listen and learn together. Let's listen and learn forever. Let's read and learn. Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Sheila. I'm so excited that you joined us. It's December and we're excited to see you. Animal Mom, in the greatness and the beauty of Christmas, we're gonna give out stuffed animals if you come and tell us that you've been watching us on YouTube and give us some information. So boys and girls, come and join us and get ready in your most favorite seat. Let's go inside this book about three billy goats grow. The three billy goats grow by Caldecott medalist Jerry Pinckney. Now boys and girls, if you know anything about the Caldecott, you know that if someone wins the Caldecott, that means they can draw really good. So let's go inside the book. Wow. A long time ago, on the rocky side of a river, there lived a family of three hungry billy goats gruff. The wild grasses flourished on the other side of the river where the sun always shone the brightest. And under the bridge passing over that water, there lived a troll with a heart of stone who guarded the crossing day and night. The billy goats became so tempted by the tasty looking grasses that they were determined to get to the other side of the river. But the water was deep and full of fish, some of them even larger than the goats. The littlest and hungriest goat was the first to march toward the crossing. The sign says beware. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Bravely, that little billy goat gruff trotted across the bridge. Looks like someone's waiting for it. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Roared the selfish troll. It's only I, the littlest Billy Goat squeaked. I'm headed up the hillside to make myself fat. I'm gonna gobble you up, declared the troll. Oh no, don't eat me, cried the littlest goat. Wait until the next Billy Goat crosses. He's much bigger than me. Well, go on then. You're nothing but skin and bones, and I want to fix our hardest stew. There the littlest Billy Goat is munching. Next, the second Billy Goat gruff stomped across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Shouted the nasty troll. It's only I, the second billy goat bleated. I'm headed up the hillside to make myself fat. I'm gonna gobble you up, the troll growled. Oh no, don't eat me, begged the second goat. Big billy goat gruff will be crossing soon. Then get out of the way, you scrawny creature. Big billy goat will make a much tastier meal. And there the second billy goat is munching. Before long, the biggest billy goat gruff stormed across the bridge. Crash! Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Howled the greedy troll. It is I, the biggest billy goat announced. I'm headed up the hillside to make myself fat. Well, I'm gonna eat you up! The troll thundered. 
cry if you dare. The biggest billy goat bellowed right back. The troll scowled. The goat charged. Then bam! Boom! Splash! Boom! Who's that? Splish splash in my river. It's only I. The troll squeaked. I'm going to gobble you But the troll was probably a bit too sour and green to make a tasty meal. He let him out. It's a lot of trip trapping going on. Let's see what's going on. The troll watched in defeat as a herd of billy goats joined their friends on the hillside. And over where the sun shone brightest and the wild grasses flourished, the billy goats would fill their bellies. And the troll, well, you see what happened. And that is the end of the three billy goats grow. All right, well, the new tune that we're going to do now is called The Three Billy Goats okay. Song. Okay. Would you like to help me again? I would love to. You're you doing do. pretty good, though, Big Mama. Yeah, I'll keep it up. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. All right, let's go.
spending this great time. Now, children, it's time to go. Thanks for watching Miss Sheila's reading show. Hope you listened and you learned. And remember all the things you heard. We hold children next week that you will return. If you enjoyed watching us, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.